want you to... Please. Samira, we can discuss your issues with Dr. McCaskill and me after my meeting with your new head of surgery. Of course. Now, no matter what she told you, the error was picked up, no one died, okay? This is Dr. McCaskill. Doctor. Francesca Telford, your new boss. I thought you were hiring Nick. You thought? Oh my God, an HD without a penis. Penis what? You two can go now. Right. It's very nice to meet you. Francesca. Welcome to Shortland Street. You ratted me out. I just complained about your little boys club. What happens in theatre stays in theatre. Now, thanks to you, we both look like idiots in front of the new boss. Nice one. For you to do the consent, and don't forget to check for allergies. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. What is going on with you two? Asked uh, Dr McCaskill. I didn't pick up on a latex allergy. Samira did. Happy ending. Ah, oh, well done, you. More importantly, Kristen Heinick is HOD. You went with a complete nobody. And I have made a total fool of myself in front of her already. Who? Francesca something? Telford. Francesca Telford? Is that new head of surgery? Do you know her? Oh, no, not personally, but she's a staunch women's rights advocate. She's really well known for it. Another power feminist in my life. Just what I need. Yeah, I... Support from security ASAP. I think you'll find our theatres are up to your standard. Electrical problems. We're having new backup generators installed. Tom. Hey, big boss man came to see me off. You have my undying gratitude for protecting Tess. You also have a very fine surgeon looking after you today. You know that. What's your approach? Do a washout, whacking some sutures, bada bing. Okay, we'll be in the observation room to watch you in action. Excellent, enjoy the show. Pressure. Oh, good, a nervous surgeon. No, that's not that. She's one of those next level feminists. I've got to be on my best behaviour. Oh, no sexist jokes. Poor Mr. Butter Bing Butter Boom, wanna be gangster. What? Everyone says Butter Bing. No, they don't. See, Tess, he's not dead yet. Hey, you okay? Me, I'm fine. No, she's panicking. I don't want you to worry. Well, I can't help it. How's Emily? She's with Leanne. We'll be right here when you wake up, okay? Well, as long as Drew doesn't leave a scalpel in me. Come on, champ. And you are? Oh, gods of Condor, save me. Name? Position? Damien Johnson. I mean, uh, <clears throat> Damo. Ah, Damo Johnson, IT department. Yeah, that's me. Uh, and your uh, Dr. Francesca Telford? I've been waiting for you. Yeah, you left me a message about power fluctuations. I did. Well, we're getting our wires crossed. I mean, um, we're getting some electrical work done, but it shouldn't affect basic supply. Basic power supply is for third world countries. I lived in Azerbaijan once. Yeah, yeah, it was so funny we couldn't use the uh, toaster and router at the same time. Uh. Really? Why am I telling you that? Because I'm a stranger and the human psyche has an overwhelming need to impress a stranger within the first 10 minutes of their meeting. I'm also a DJ and a leader of a cosplay group. As the new head of surgery and patient advocate, I'm asking you to do whatever it takes to ensure a constant power supply. Uh-huh, uh-huh, but I, I'm, I'm just the IT guy. Damo, I've already made my assessment. Oh, did I pass the test? You're smart, well-connected, and you know how to solve problems. Well, thanks. I'm uh, feeling quite well. So, about it. go do that. Now. Right. Yeah. Uh, do you still want the surge protector? I mean, I could just leave it uh, on your desk there and just pop it down there. No, no. <clears throat> yeah, all right. Finishing a case two hours beyond the estimated finish time is always worth discussing because we never stop learning. Nothing actually went wrong. No? We went in. Saw there was too much blood, opened them up, and yep, the arteries have been nicked. We did a textbook laparoscopic inspection. Dr. McCaskill picked up the bleed immediately. Were you concerned? Yes, but for the record, I was also impressed. Well, I've had a careful look at your notes. Why didn't you choose a retroperitoneal approach for the laparoscopy? 
I had a vibe. A vibe? You're all set to do an open repair? Hope for the best, plan for the worst. And what did you learn from all this? What he said, plan for the worst. Excellent. The patient is recovering nicely. I understand so well done to you both. That's it. Oh, one more thing, um, just a heads up. I will be reviewing all processes within the department. Can't wait. Good. I enjoyed watching you work. Grace and poise under pressure, despite the gratuitous and somewhat inventive swearing. We do have speakers in the observation room. So, how was your meeting with the new HOD? Oh, I really like her. True? Well, I charmed it. So she's not a rabid feminazi? We'll see. <laughs> oh, you're still a little bit scared of her. I like a powerful woman. I'm loving with her, aren't I? True. I'm gonna have that new boss wrapped around my finger in no time. Drew, uh, in regard to that latex allergy not being picked up, I've booked you in for a session on consent forms. If what? With the trainee nurses. No. It's just an hour. Oh, and one of Samira's tutors contacted me. She missed a lecture because she was drafted on an appendix. Her job is, is to, to assist. Learn. Contact me if there's a conflict in future. Right. Have my seat. May I? Please. This is Harper Whitley, head of ED. Pleased to meet you, Harper. Yeah, and you. I actually attended uh, some of your lectures a few years ago. Ah. Damo, anything to report? Yeah, I, uh, I spoke to the contractor. They assured me that he... Oh, well, they bombed you off. Basically, yeah. I'm sure you'll find a way. He is one of the good guys. Most of them are. We don't need to constantly tell them that, though. It goes to their heads. 